everyone. Today we're comparing Fedora 43 beta to Fedora 42. I'll cover what's new in F43, what changed since F42, performance and developer tool updates, installer and desktop differences, and whether you should try the beta or wait. Let's jump in. Quick headlines. Short version. Fedora 43 beta brings newer desktop stacks, GNOME 49 on Workstation, an updated Linux kernel, and a bunch of developer tool updates like Python 3.14, plus continued improvements to the Anaconda web UI installer and other system enhancements. Fedora 42 shipped earlier this year with GNOME 48 and a range of desktop improvements including the new Cosmic Spin and the initial web UI installer on Workstation. Release Context Fedora follows a twice-yearly cadence. Fedora 42 was released in April 2025, while Fedora 43's beta images were published in mid-September 2025 for testing ahead of the final release. If you like bleeding-edge components and frequent updates, Fedora's release model is designed with you in mind. Desktop and UI, GNOME KDE Wayland. Fedora 42 shipped with GNOME 48 for Workstation that brought GNOME's well-being features, accessibility improvements on Wayland, triple buffering for smoother animations, stacked notifications, and the Workstation's initial Anaconda web UI as an option. Fedora 42 also promoted KDE Plasma to a full edition and introduced the new Cosmic Spin. Fedora 43 Beta upgrades the workstation to GNOME 49 with Wayland-only support in some builds and offers KDE Plasma 6.4 on the KDE edition. The focus in F43 is on polishing the modern desktop experience on Wayland and expanding the web UI installer across spins. Expect incremental UX refinements rather than a radical desktop redesign. Kernel, performance, and developer tools. Kernel. Fedora 43 Beta ships with a more recent Linux kernel, reported as 6.17 in early testing, which brings hardware enablement and driver updates. That typically improves support for newer CPUs, GPUs, and platform features. Python and Toolchain, F43 moves the distro's Python stack toward Python 3.14 and updates the GNU toolchain, which is helpful if you care about the latest language Mentu improvements and compiler features. Fedora 42 use slightly older stacks, GNOME 48 era toolchain. These upgrades matter most for developers and users running the newest language-specific apps. Installer and system changes. Fedora has been expanding the Anaconda web UI across spins. Fedora 42 introduced the web-based installer for Workstation, and Fedora 43 beta pushes that further, making it default for more spins. Plus switches the installer backend to DNF5 in places to improve package handling and debugging during installs. These changes mean fresher installer UX and more consistent behavior across additions. New slash removed packages. F43 also includes several package level decisions. Removal, deprecation of older packages, for example, retiring some unmaintained bindings and test frameworks, and updating languages like Go and Perl to newer upstream versions, part of the distro's upstream closer policy. This improves security and reduces long-term maintenance burden, but can surface compatibility work for niche software. User-focused changes. If you're a desktop user, expect smoother Wayland behavior, updated app stacks, and installer improvements in F43. If you're on Fedora 42 and happy, there's no urgent need to switch right away. But developers or early adopters who need the newest runtime features, Python 3.14, newer kernel, will find F43 attractive. Always test third-party drivers or specialized apps before upgrading a production machine. Should you test the beta? Try the beta on a spare machine, VM, or a non-critical partition. Report bugs to the Fedora community if you find them. That's the point of a beta. Don't install betas on systems you rely on for work unless you're prepared to troubleshoot. Wrap up and call to action. Summary. Fedora 43 is an incremental but meaningful update. Newer GNOME, newer kernel, updated toolchains, 
and broader web UI adoption. If you liked Fedora 42 and want the latest developer tools and hardware support, try the beta in a safe environment. If you prefer stability, wait for the final Fedora 43 release or stick with Fedora 42 for now. If you want a follow-up, tell me if you'd like a hands-on install plus features demo video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.